Ever since its birth, the game of soccer has always been played on natural grass. But in recent years, popularity has grown for another material, artificial turf, and is becoming a new trend. But for some schools, it was merely just a business decision. 2019 was the last year we played on natural grass. Really the motivation behind the putting in the turf field was that we're a landlocked school. We also have two, a, a strong boys and a strong girls soccer program. So the field was just conti was continually used. It was unable to keep up. I mean, ours is more out of necessity. I mean, if we had just a standalone field that we never got on and we only played our soccer games and our football games on it, I would prefer natural grass, but that's not our situation. Clark Central isn't the only school to hop on the new trend. Three of the seven Athens area schools have invested in a turf field, with the exception of North Oconee, whose soccer team only uses it in inclement weather. Unlike other schools, switching to an artificial field was never a question. Cedar Shoals High School has the luxury of having three practice fields to keep their main field in peak condition. Yeah, they definitely do not want this field to be turned into an Astro field turf. Um, they are not pumped when we get off the bus and we see it's turf field either. Um, they would much rather have all their games on regular grass. They, I think that would make them feel a little bit more comfortable. In a 2019 survey done by the Georgia High School Football Daily, more than half of the athletic programs registered to the Georgia High School Association reported that their team sports will play their home games on artificial fields. So there's a lot of forgiveness on this field, uh, a lot of divots, a lot of ways the, the ball can die. Um, it can be beneficial if you practice on real grass all the time. It can be detrimental when you go and you play on artificial grass and you're not used to it. There's absolutely no forgiveness in an artificial field. The bottom of it is concrete. So that's still, every time the ball bounces, it bounces harder. Every time it slides, it slides faster. And regardless as to what surface your favorite team is playing on, experts say that either field can prove to be unforgiving and cause injury. So if you look at some of the literature that's coming out about injuries in the NFL, non-contact ACLs look like, you know, they happen more often on synthetic turf. But if you look at soccer, on that same type of field and that same level of, you know, athlete at, at the, uh, you know, say MLS level, there's, there's not a lot of difference uh, between the teams that are playing on grass and the teams that are playing on synthetic surfaces. Dr. Ray even says more research needs to happen before a definitive conclusion can be given. He says it's the quality of the playing surface that ultimately determines the safety of the game. With the soccer season already underway, you can expect several teams to break new ground. Whether it's fresh sod or AstroTurf, you will start the same stadium to watch your team play their best. This is Matthew Brown, Carmichael Sports Media Institute at UGA.